Well, ocean acidification is one of the greatest crises facing our oceans. When you think that you know, over a billion people every year rely on uh, seafood as their primary source of protein, people that can't make another choice and go to the supermarket and buy something else, when you think that uh, um, whole food chains, economies in this country, even in the United States, uh, billions of dollars rely on fisheries, ocean acidification threatens the very basic food chains of our oceans. I think one of the problems with ocean acidification and why so few people know about it is that while the science has been going on for several years, it's only recently begun to get attention in the press. It's, it's a complex issue uh, involving chemistry and, and the biology of animals and, and I think we're still struggling sometimes, environmental groups, to explain it in such a way that, that, uh, that people can easily grasp the issue. I think nature has a tremendous ability to heal itself. It has a tremendous resilience. We just have to give it the time to do so. You know, when it comes to ocean conservation, we've seen, for example, when we've established marine protected areas, effective ones that have been, that have been uh, uh, in, enforced, we see the fish population come back. We see the, the, the ecosystem becoming healthier after a few years. Uh, the oceans can come back if we give them a chance. You know, I think it's really important for us all to think about our, ourselves and our behavior every day. Uh, we have a saying at Earth Echo, the nonprofit that I run, it's not that you can make a difference, it's that everything you do makes a difference, that all your choices have consequences. And so whether or not you live at the beach, you know, the average piece of food travels 1,200 miles in this country. There's a big local movement of how, how, how can we support local farms and small farms in our communities. It's better for our economy, certainly better for our health, and better for the environment. So buying local uh, healthy food is is way that you can help the oceans. Um, thinking about the chemicals that you buy at home and the and the products that you purchase. Also, you know the oceans are downstream from everybody. Everything that ends up in the environment and the, and the water systems of the environment, most of it ends up into the ocean. Uh, so thinking also about who we vote for. You know we live in a democratic republic, and um, anybody that's over 18 has a lot of power in this country to support politicians who want to vote for climate effective climate change reg regulation. And, uh, and stand up and realize this is a problem and, and no longer uh, be, be a denialist about this issue that, that we can tackle if we have the will uh, to do it. The last 50 years have both seen the greatest increase in knowledge of the oceans since my grandfather started and, and others started exploring the oceans. It's the next 50 years that we'll see us making the choices of whether we want to take that knowledge and act on that knowledge and make the world that we deserve and pass on the world to our children that they deserve.